Episode 5, Creating Quality of Life Commands. And let's say if it does equal a list, let's say if it equals ignore case uh, list, uh, let's just give them you know, a list of what the works are. So let's do a for loop for string s in git warps. Send message text for matting dot gold <clears throat> and give them s. Perfect. Uh, this will create it obviously on every line. Um, if you don't want to do this, uh, like let's say it's, there are a lot of warps, like more than you would want to create on just one line, you can have it set up uh, so it prints them across the screen. And uh, the way you would do that is you would, for example, uh, send the message, uh, but then you would send git warps. Um, but then you would obviously replace a few things, uh, the brackets and the uh, comma. Uh, so I'll actually do that. So, <coughs> send message. Uh, just uh, and then we'll send git. Whoops. Dot to string and actually it would be arrays dot to string and then we'll say get whoops right dot to array there we go because it's a list not an array. <clears throat> uh, actually, I think you probably could have just throw it out. But, oh well, this works. Uh, dot replace. Then you'll replace that with that. Then dot replace. And you'll replace that with that. dot replace. Then you'll replace the comma with. <clears throat> uh, so, I'll show you both of these, I suppose. Um, if args, um, I'll just comment this out for now. Okay. Um, so, it'll print it out like that, and if args zero, dot equals ignore case uh, so map uh, then we'll do a nice little like uh, display I suppose okay. just find where I actually did this <clears throat> okay uh, now let's set this up. Oh, so first we probably want to check if warps equals null. We'll want to do this up top as well. We'll get warps. Uh, because it might equal uh, null if you've never typed like warp list before. Uh, and then if uh, get warps that equals null, uh, then you'll send message text formatting dot red no warps found. Just in case something really weird happened. So I that which I didn't mean to. So there we go. Okay, then <clears throat> and actually I did that. 
Vale. And we'll save. Because if there's an error, I don't want to continue here. Okay. Now we'll say if args dot length is equal to two. Uh, if this is the case, then uh, you are most likely searching for a specific word. Um, so root so for string name oops, in git. Warps. Actually, I want to do. This is easier. Uh, in warps. Dot key set. So this gets a an array of the warps, the name to these. Uh, okay. And if args one. Dot equals ignore case. And name. Uh, then we will dis display. Uh, the location, uh, the dimension, and the warp name. Okay, so let's get the block pause for now. Uh, we'll call this pause, and this will equal warps dot get name dot uh, key. Okay, that gets the block pause, and then int dimension. Or actually, let's call this dim. Uh, this will equal warps dot get name dot get value, and then for the dimension we want to return a string. So like if it's the overworld, the nether, or you know something like that. Let's say string dimension yeah equals dimension min manager uh, dot get provider and dim dot get dimension type uh, dot get name uh, then we'll throw in the actual uh, like oops the number in parentheses okay and we'll say uh, send message uh, new whoop, text for formatting dot bold oops uh, then we'll throw the name <coughs> plus a colon Uh, then we'll grab text formatting dot uh, red. This is just for some color. Then we'll open some curly braces. This will make it look kind of like a JSON file. Uh, but I guess purely just for style. Text formatting dot uh, so green. <clears throat> then we'll print out the X uh, and that will be pause dot get X uh, then we'll do plus comma space Y colon pause dot get Y Oops. plus Z pause dot get Z <clears throat> and then we'll get the world. So world and that equals the dimension. Perfect. Okay. Uh uh, and we'll actually do uh, text formatting uh, red plus that. That is a very long piece of code. All right.
Uh, then after this, uh, it's only going to be one. Uh, so we will return. All right. Uh, now let's say if it just equals one. So we didn't actually ask for uh, a specific name. We'll say for string name warps dot key set. Uh, and we don't need to check that, uh, but we We'll still do everything pretty much the same. Oops. Uh, except we're going to be doing it for <clears throat> uh, for all of them instead of just one of them. Just that. that all should be good. Yeah. All right. So that is mapping it out. Uh, you don't need to put a return at the end of this one because it's going to continue. Uh, and all right, so we got the list, we got the map. Uh, let's create. Let's see. All right, so uh, what if you wanted to uh, warp randomly, like kind of jump around the map? You can set that up. Uh, so if cards zero dot equals ignore case uh, random, uh, then yeah, let's. All right, so if we want to warp random, we might want to set a limit. Um, so that we can set a default limit or we can ask the user for a limit. Uh, now, depending on like uh, server performance, you may want to set a hard limit, but I'm just going to let it freeform. Uh, so if args dot length is equal to two, so they have an, like another argument. Um, then we will set a range first. Uh, and then we'll try. Uh, this has to be in a try cat. And we'll say range equals int integer dot parse int. I uh, will say args two. Then catch, <clears throat> and then it'll be a number formatting exception, which means that uh, we didn't type a number in there, or you just didn't type an integer. Uh, then it'll send message uh, text formatting dot red. Uh, then let's just give the use of warp random and then this needs to be a range that kind of thing that no, needs to be an integer but a range I guess I don't know that kind of works I guess we can put like an example or actually that kind of thing. All right, and then catch just a standard exception. And then this one will send message. Also, chat color dot red. 
something went wrong. And we'll do we got print stack trace. <clears throat> uh, okay. And then else there's nothing. And we'll just leave it there. Okay. But if all of this worked, uh, we'll do this was successfully set right below here. We'll say warp random range. If it's not, we'll do warp random. And let's set a hard value. So 600, not 6,000. Um, and this won't be like, we'll warp exactly 600 blocks away. You can do that. Um, I'm going to set it up as the maximum blocks you can warp away to 600. But because it's random, it's, it's going to you know, be random. Uh, to do make the distance. So, actually, I don't want to click it like that. So, we'll say private void warp random, and we'll put int range. Okay. Uh, and in here. <coughs> get something to drink. All right, in here we'll create a random variable. Uh, so Java has its own built in. So we'll type random, rand equals new random. And we'll import that from java.util. Uh, and we'll create an int, uh, a variable e equals uh, rand dot next int and then we'll use the range as the uh, the maximum value uh, you can do a max and a min but you know it should work It'll, it will depending most of what you're gonna write it's not gonna be like a really small number unless you make the range like two then it would be either zero one or two blocks away but anyway uh, then you'll get the double X, Y, and Z. Uh, X is equal to get player dot get position dot get position dot get X. Yeah. And it's that Y and Z and same over here. Perfect. And actually the Y, we want to set this to an outrageously high number. Uh, so Y is like the height. Uh, and we want to set this, so the default max build height is 255, so we'll set it to that. Um, this is so you don't accidentally spawn in the ground. Uh, but we will be actually lowering you, so. Uh, okay. Now to make sure you don't just spawn mid-air, let's grab the block pause, pause equals new block pause. Put the X, Y, and Z in there. Alright, and then we will do a while loop. So while uh, get player oops, dot get oops, dot world dot get lock from pause dot get lock dot equals uh, and then you'll say like blocks dot air. So basically this is checking if the block that you're in or around uh, if like if it's all block dot air like if the block you're standing on essentially is block dot air um, then we'll say why uh, minus minus and then pause is equal to new block pause uh, x y z all right and it'll do that and then when it's done we we'll want to do y plus equals two because that is your height 
and you don't want to just be inside a block. There we go. Uh, then we'll create a back. Uh, so get player dot get position. Then get player dot get uh, entity world dot get. Provider dot get dimension. There we go. <sighs> okay. Uh, then we will teleport dot teleport and player. Uh, this uh because we don't want to teleport the player to a random dimension that wouldn't be, wouldn't be helpful uh and then we'll say give them a little message send message uh text formatting dot sure uh warping plus the bar or variable up top, and then we'll say locks a way. There. And that is that. Uh, so that essentially warps you various blocks away. And this, um, this can cause a little bit of glitchiness, and actually a lot of this teleporting uh, depending on the server strength, it can be slightly glitchy, but it works. Uh, and by glitchy, I mean just like, it, it gives you a weird uh, graphical look. Uh, but that could just be my computer. Um, okay.